Hello. Gonna try a little music news here as uh, Comcast and YouTube apparently are trying to really make the music scene a lot more global than it has been in the past. To give a proper explanation, try this. Um, Comcast, for the l longest time, had been based around any English-speaking artists. Now, granted, they did have at least one video from BOA, but again, it was in English. Um, so what's happening <clears throat> is now they wanted to start to branch out with more Eastern artists. Where they start? Korea, apparently. If you look on the on-demand section through Comcast, they now have a, um, in the music section, they have K-pop. Now, I was wondering what this was, and then I looked up at Looked it up, and sure enough, from TVK, which is a Korean channel, they they are showing now Korean artists, which I thought was actually pretty cool. And I wanted, and I was wondering if it was, this was the beginning of something. Apparently, it is. YouTube has already been doing the my YouTube um, program. Well, specifically the way they were doing it was with musicians, and obviously they were doing American artists. But they wanted to start to, it seems, start to show um, different, different Japanese artists and so forth, or artists from all over the world. I, of course, picked Japan. And if you go and you click on different um, or if you can subscribe to the pages. Generally speaking, if you subscribe to the pages, they'll all give you the chance to subscribe to the different artists under that label. I suggest you go and do so. One of them, who works for Upfront Records, you may recognize as Morning Mizumi. 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 Uh, the reason that one is important is because they did the theme song last, the ending theme, Last Kiss for Orphan. Which I actually thought was pretty cool. Um, what I want to know from you guys, however, is this. Do you think this is just a flash in the pan? Or are we going to start seeing a more global attempt with the music? Especially the Japanese, Japanese and Korean artists. Now if you want my honest take on this matter, well, let's try it this way. I see it as a possibility that the East and the West are finally going to basically merge. Because if I have stated on numerous occasions on my other channel, the American music industry is in a bit of a crisis. Now it's not as serious a crisis as what we just averted with the government temporarily in this country, but it is a crisis nonetheless. Specifically, we need to start to bring some of these artists over. And I think their popularity will grow significantly. Look at the Wonder Girls. There's a video on their Vivo channel, which has over, I believe it's like 18 million views. Now think about that for a minute. And they are a Korean artist. So again, the question at hand is, where do you see it going? I see it with Boris like Okir, Morning Mizume, among many others. Trust me, there's too many, there's too goddamn many to name. Um, that we are at a point where it's got to merge. Both both cultures based the East has to meet the West and the West has to meet the East for music in this country to stop being a bunch of friggin' one hit wonders that it's turned into. See the seventies were good for that back in the day. Well, guess what? If we're not careful in this decade, it's gonna happen again.
those are my thoughts. So, what say you? Drop a comment, a video response, PM, and I shall talk to you in the very near future. Good night.